Let's take a look at how to do sampling using the R programming language. Um, let me bring in a list of numbers. Uh, 2, 7, 12, 5, 1, 23, 41, 45, 2, 7, 8, 11, 4. Okay. Now, um, to do a sample, we type sample and then uh, beginning parentheses. And then um, uh, X, and then if I put one in, that'll return one for the number. Let me highlight that and run it. Run it again, run it again. What it does, 12, 23, 11, it randomly picks num a number from that list, just one number. Now, I'm bringing, I'm bringing this in from a list of numbers I've hard-coded, but you could bring it in from a, a, a CSV file, for example. Okay, if I put three there. Seven, two, forty-one, forty-one, one, two, so forth. Okay, now you could do something with that. Um, I could assign it equal to uh, R nums, for example. And print R nums. Let's see what that looks like. And then I'm going to find a mean. I'll go ahead and just print the mean. There we go. So I returned 2755 and gave me this. Um, That's 62, 64 divided by 3. 64 divided by 3. 64 divided by 3. And that gives us a 21.33. So you see, um, and not only is this uh, coming up with random numbers, but you can actually do something with it. Okay. Now, um, you can. Uh, let's see. Um, sample, sample one. You can say is equal to sample, and then you can put a range here. 1 to 500, comma, 10. And then let's print sample one. Okay, highlight those, run them. What this does is this uh, the sample 1 colon 500 returns um, random numbers between 1 and 500. Um, and the 10 means I pull 10 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. Um, so if you don't got numbers to work with, you just want to randomly uh, create some, that's, that's how you do it. Now, um, <clears throat> and I haven't played with this one that much, to be honest. Sample 2, sample 1, 10, uh, four, four, 4 numbers, and print sample 2. Uh, run that. Okay, let me try something else here. Let me try 6. Okay, so by default, it is not coming back with duplicates. There is an option, this is the part I haven't played with very much, but when you do a comma, I may have to type it from scratch. Sample, there's a replace option. Replace is equal to false. Um, this is what allows you to have duplicates. So, replace equals true. One, ten, six of them, replace equals true. And oh, it doesn't like that. Ah, true, not found. Okay, try number two. There it goes. Now see, I have two twos. 
So um, if you want uh, something to be sampled and then put back into the mix to be sampled again, then that's how you do it. Now, that same would hold true with these, uh, these examples up here. Um, so uh, for like this one, R nums here, I could say comma replace equals true, and then um, it could potentially pull uh, these numbers twice. Like this 5 here, it could pull that twice. Now, I already have this, and I'm not sure how it handled this. See, I have a 2 here and a 2 here. I think those would be considered separate entries. Um, I think it's based upon the, the entries in the list. Okay, and that's how you can do sampling um, in R.